year. Well, since the beginning of the school year, we've been checking in with educators at our Catholic colleges, high schools and elementary schools to see how they're meeting the challenge of educating students during the pandemic. Well, today, the principal of Maria Regina School, Matthew Scanapica, I'm going to say that, Scanapico, is joining us via Skype from Seaford, New York. Matthew, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Colleen. Now, Maria Regina, the school goes nursery to eighth grade. How have things changed in your school for this year? Yeah, so I would say, especially with the nursery and pre-K, it's been uh, interesting. You know, it doesn't quite look like the same classroom you'd be accustomed to at that age. Uh, we have individual desks in those rooms, and uh, it was a little jarring at first, you know, seeing all the little ones sitting in desks, but they, they treat it as like a big uh, kind of a, a prize, you know, a, a really like a badge of honor to be able to sit at a big kid desk already at that young of an age. Uh, socially, you know, we try and get the kids, you know, together uh, in safe ways as much as possible. Um, on the recess yard, they're out there together. And in the classroom, we do find ways for, for collaboration to happen. Uh, but with the masks and everything, it's you know, we're, we're trying to be cautious, but also, you know, get the, get the kids engaged as much as possible. It's a very difficult balance, but one that we've been striking pretty well so far. And you've been having in-school instruction five days a week, right? That is correct, yes. Five days a week, uh, 8.15 to 2.30 every day. So can some parents, you know, opt to stay home, their children, keep them home if they want to? Yes, we, we did provide that option, and we'll continue to pro provide that option uh, the duration of the school year. We have about maybe 10% of our student body that opted to learn remotely. Did you have to limit the number of students per classroom and, and, and find more space for social distancing? We did, absolutely. So we were limited to about 16 desks in a room in order to keep the mandated six feet uh, space between desks. So some classes we had to get uh, two sections for. We, we filled up a lot of classrooms. Our library became a classroom. Our tech lab became a classroom. Uh, we pretty much maxed out the, the building in terms of the space available to us. How many, well, how have the challenges, I guess, what is the, the most challenging thing that you've faced so far? I think the most challenging thing is helping support the teachers in the kind of dynamic of, in person while also doing remote simultaneously. I think that's a really difficult challenge for educators this year uh, and helping helping my faculty kind of navigate uh, that, that obstacle uh, of balancing that, that simultaneous teaching. Mm. How are students adjusting to the new rules? You know, they're, they're, they're doing their best mm. and I have to give them a lot of credit. They're very resilient. Uh, they're so happy to be back and we're so happy to have them back with us. Uh, but, you know, the, the challenges of, of the masks pretty much all day uh, and just not having the same kind of interactions you normally would. Uh, but I do have to say I, I am impressed with, with how they've handled it so far. That's great to hear. How about the parents? You know, they as well. You know, it's, it's a lot of new, a lot of different uh, communications and policies have kind of. I think I might be breaking up there a bit. I apologize. Uh, but parents have had to deal with a lot of new, a lot of different uh, policies have kind of been changing on a week by week basis as we get new information and, and as we have to adapt to to the new normal, as, as, it, as we all call it. So so you really do constantly on a daily basis really have to be prepared for anything. Yes, <laughs> we certainly do. Now, you um, had had a had a consulting firm actually come in and, and really help you look at the look at the building and say, OK, this is how you can reopen. Um, and so you can you can still go to this this firm, right, to continue to help you throughout the year. That is correct. Yeah. Parada Consulting Firm. Uh, I personally came to Maria Regina rather late in the summer. Uh, Parad had already done the, the bulk of their work, uh, you know, before I arrived. But uh, I, I have reached out to them whenever I needed to uh, so far this school year and, you know, we'll continue to do so uh, to seek their, their advice and counsel when needed. Glad to hear that the teachers and students and parents all adjusting and continued. Good luck for the rest of the school year. Thank you. Thank you so much.